Uh, good morning. Today's topic of discussion is on blunt injury abdomen. It's a very big problem for uh, in today's world uh, because of uh, fast vehicles and uh, because of fast life. So it is the leading cause of morbidity and mortality amongst all age groups. And the identification of a serious intra-abdominal pathology is often challenging because these patients present with polytrauma. That means they may be head injuries, chest injuries, and orthopedic injuries. And abdominal injury may be one of them. So specify, specifically identifying the abdominal pathology may often be challenging. And many of the injuries, particularly the abdominal ones, may not manifest during the initial assessment. And uh, so, therefore, treatment might either be missed or delayed. So, any initial assessment of abdominal injury patients can be wrong and it can be inaccurate up to the extent of almost 35% uh, of cases. So, therefore, this talk will uh, focus on, uh, first of all, the very first management that we must all do the moment the patient arrives and what is the pre-hospital care that must also happen if possible. Then uh, the third thing is, uh, this third aspect is in the secondary survey, how to identify abdominal injuries and what are the possibilities we have in making a diagnosis. So that's the, keep this in mind that the abdomen has at least three out of four areas which are not easily accessible to clinical examination and therefore the findings can be missed. Now let's look at the pathophysiology. How does actually the injury takes place? Now intra-abdominal injuries which are secondary to blunt force are generally because of vehicular accidents. That means a fast vehicle which is probably moving at X amount of speed suddenly slows down. And what happens to the body in such a situation? The body will be thrown forward, right? So this similar exercise will happen to the organs also. The body will be suddenly thrown forward and when it comes, becomes stationary, when the body becomes stationary, then the organs will be thrown backward also. In other words, there are two, two types of forces. The first one is the forward force. The moment the, the car slows down urgently, then there is a sudden forward force. And when the body comes to a standstill, there is a sudden backward force also. So this is called, uh, this therefore is acceleration and this is deceleration. And this kind of forces therefore will exert a uh, lot of pressure uh, on the uh, structures which are relatively fixed. Let us look at this uh, statement. In, the, in this particular process, if the liver, for example, fixed by the falciform ligament, let us say one of the ligament structures, sudden movement forward, backward, it is that fixed, fixed to mobile area, there will be tears. Similarly, the midline vascular structures, for example, the arch of aorta is relatively more mobile than the thoracic aorta, right, which comes through the uh, diaphragm and comes down and then into the abdomen. So this is almost fixed, this area, while this is relatively mobile. So when there is movement, there is a tendency to tear here, aortic ruptures. Similar thing will happen to the vessels which are coming in the abdomen. For example, the mesenteric vessels. Again, there is a force here, which is forward, backward. There is a tendency to tear. There is also a tendency to thr thrombose. So this is the kind of uh, the forces that operate upon the various organs in the abdomen. This is about acceleration, deceleration. There can be another situation where, for example, if you look at the abdomen, there's a possibility of looking at it. Now, if you look at it, this is the diaphragm and this is a thoracic cage, anterior abdominal wall, pelvic area. This is how we divide it, isn't it? Then we have posteriorly, we have the vertebral column, which is a fixed area. So then what happens is, when there is sudden movement forward and backward, the organs which move forward and backward tend to get crushed against the, they get caught between the fixed posterior uh, vertebral column and anterior abdominal wall. So this is crushing that takes place. 
and liver, spleen and kidneys are the structures which tend to get injured because of this kind of forces. Now compression is another possibility. What is compression? That means supposing there is a uh, lap belt. Uh, think of, think of uh, the, uh, the belt that we wear during uh, traveling in the car. There will be, a, in, if you are sitting in the back seat, there will be a lap belt plus an, a chest belt. And that lap part of the belt can uh, compress upon the lower part of the abdomen and can cause a lot of injury. So this is called compression. So there are three forces which are operating. One is the deceleration and acceleration force. Other is the crushing force. Third is the compression force. And the organs can get injured by all these. And for example, in typically in compression, you can have the bowel injuries taking place. So these are the multiple injuries that can take place to organs. This is a pathophysiology.